Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Karen and welcome to Our Irish Family. Today I'm going to do my fifth video of the week. And um, so I just want to apologize. This was supposed to be up yesterday, Friday, but um, it's just, I was recording yesterday and it took way longer than I expected it to. So I'm only able to get it up today, Saturday. So if you have missed day one to four of my kitchen clean organization and declutter, I will have that linked below for you so you can check them out. But today is day five and day five is gonna be dedicated to my oven. It needs a whole video of its own because it was ridiculously dirty. Now, every single time I do one of these oven cleans, I always get comments about how dirty my oven is, I should be ashamed of myself, blah de blah de blah de blah. And I just want to let you guys know, I don't like cleaning the oven, so I don't clean the oven. Um, so you can say people, obviously the, the majority of my viewers and commenters are super nice, but you always get those people who just have to say something, have to say something mean. Um, so yeah, as I said, I, I'm not a fan of cleaning the oven. It's not something that I want to do. It's not something that I choose to do. So I always abandon it and I never, ever, ever do it. So when I do get around to cleaning it, it is always manky dirty, like very dirty, loads of grease and grime piled up. Um, so it makes for a tougher clean. And I have made a promise to myself that going forward after today, that I'm going to be cleaning my oven once a week. I'm gonna include it, I'm gonna incorporate it into my cleaning routine that I'm gonna do once a week. I'm just gonna wipe it down. And that way, I won't be in this situation anymore where I have like months worth of grease. Um, I am in a rented accommodation. When I moved in, my oven already had caked on grease. Um, and no matter what I do, scraping it, all of different cleaners and abrasions, it just won't remove. So if you have any suggestions that you think that I might be able to get some of that off, you'll see it in the video, do leave them in the comments. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So today is oven cleaning day, and like the last time, I'm going to be using this mixture. Mom. And um, you can probably hear Ava in the background touching everything. Um, yeah, so basically what I do is I take off the rails and the side bits and put them in like a big plastic bag and allow them to soak in this solution. Um, then I pour some of this into the center of the oven and spread it around and leave it for a couple of hours. Um, my <clears throat> This is what it looks like. So it's in dire need. Um, I do have a scraper today, um, an oven scraper, so that will make it so much easier. So to make it easier this time, I discovered that I can take off the oven door. So I've taken it off, it's on the ground here. This will make it so much easier for me to get in and actually scrub. So yeah, um, definitely gonna be a task today, but we'll give it a go.
it's been four hours since I um, put in the mixture so now I'm just going to remove it and um, I'm not quite sure whether I should scrape I'm probably afraid that it's gonna scrape like the enamel off or something um, so we'll see how it goes we see what gets removed and then I'll reassess so I'm just gonna use hot water to remove it and um, I'm just putting on my gloves right now I've just noticed that this here will come off so it just screws off so I'm going to take it off so I can um, clean it because it's it needs it Woohoo! okay so I'm obviously not going to touch the fan um, because as far as I know you shouldn't really touch that and um, so I'm just going to clean the areas around it
I wanted to complete was this. As you can see, it's awful. It's the mesh um, that's on my extractor fan. So I'm just going to put it in the bucket. I'm gonna get my elbow grease. So there you have it the oven is so clean it's like a brand new oven and then the I got the stainless steel so um, shiny I use my glass microfiber cloth and I just dampen it with a bit of water and I rub it over it and it just comes up so so shiny I'm um, no product just water on that microfiber cloth and um, so I'm super happy as I said it looks like a brand new oven um, and I, as I said at the start I'm going to make that promise to myself that every single week I'm going to be going and wiping down my oven so I don't so I'm not in that situation that I am now or was just there so that is the end of my five day kitchen clean and declutter organization and um, I'm just gonna do a little run through of everything that I did so day one was my pantry cleaning so here are some before and afters day two was my counters and my hob and um, so here is some before and afters Day three, day three was my counter, my unit here. And um, so here are some before and afters. Day four was my kitchen drawers and under the kitchen sink. So here's some before and afters. And then day five was today with my oven. So here are some awful befores and beautiful afters.
that is it guys um I, thank you so much if you've watched all of my five videos if you haven't as i said at the start i will have the rest of the videos linked below i do have a playlist as well for this so if you're ever in the need for some kitchen cleaning motivation i do have a playlist that you can check out um so yeah thank you so much for watching if you're new here don't forget to subscribe i, I put out videos three days a week every week one of them is a cleaning video and um, so if you're interested in cleaning decluttering mom lifestyle day in the life's hauls that sort of stuff and um, please do subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and i have a facebook instagram and twitter and i would love if you follow me over on those platforms and i will talk to you in my next one bye